So this year, instead of the caribou coming through where the people would be ready for them with all the caribou corrals, and what would happen is that they would drag spruce trees from a long ways away every winter on their toboggans to make these huge corrals in which the women and children would holler when the caribou were coming through in their migration path and rush them into the chute into the corral, which would be closed off. And all the men that were standing around this corral would take their arrows and their clubs and slaughter their winter food. They would slaughter these caribou. There was nothing. People were dying. You could hear babies crying. Mothers had no milk. Even this old couple that had the little boy, moon boy, Tushri, Tukthul. Them too, they didn't have much food. Now that little boy, he said to his mother, Mom, What's going on? And she said, caribou is not coming this year. He take different trail. Winter came too soon. We didn't get enough fish. I can bring caribou, he said. I'm going to try. You think so? Yes, I'm going to try, he said. Ah. He went outside of the little tent and he broke off some sticks from a little willow. He's going to use those little sticks to make a sound, a beating sound. Like this. He said, I'm going to sing a song and I'm going to dance and I'm going to call the caribou back for the people. Ah, oh, son, you think so? He said, I'm going to try. Now you go tell the people, he said. You go tell the people I'm going to do this for them. And all I want for this job I'm going to do to keep the people alive, he said, I want the stomach fat. Now the caribou, when you take the guts out of the caribou, around the stomach, of the caribou is this fat. It's a layer, very thin fat. They call it lace fat in English. Indigenous people call it hutsieta, means a, the encasement of the stomach. And if you hold it up to the light, it looks like lace almost. So in English, they call it lace fat. It's very powerful stuff. In fact, it's important for hunters to have this because when they're out on the trail and they need more energy, they just pop a little bit of that fat into their mouth, chew it up and they get energy from it. They dry it, they hang it in the cache and smoke it a little bit and so it's been cured. That's all I want, he said. Okay, okay, son. And she went down and she told the people, my son is going to make medicine. He's going to dance. He's going to sing to bring caribou back. All he wants when you get caribou, he wants a stomach fat. Ah, he said, go ahead, try. So the woman walked back up to her camp. She told the boy, yes, they all agreed. They all agreed to do this. So that little boy did that. He got them little sticks outside of their tent, started to make this noise and dance. Now that old woman that told me the story, Auntie Mary, she said, I'm sorry, Sitchi, I can't remember the song, but he sang a good song. Pretty soon he looked up on the rise. What's up there? 
bull caribou. That's the one, he's a leader. He's a chief of caribou people. He goes ahead, he looks to make sure everything's okay. Hmm. Behind him, lots of caribou come. Oh boy, those people were happy. Even though the women were weak, they went out and made lots of noise, banging things together to, to steer those caribou into the corral. They cut, they cut it off like this, put the gate up, and the men began to use their arrows and their clubs and spears to get their winter food. <laughs> <laughs>